Street, Hereford manager uh, Peter Beadle. Your reflections on that defeat this afternoon? Uh, oh, we had an off day. We had an off day. It happens. Um, we couldn't get anything going. We couldn't get any momentum. We couldn't get any fluency. You know, last week I thought we played ever so well up until the final third, but today it just didn't, just didn't happen. And it's hard to put your finger on it. You know, it's hard to put your finger on it. You have to give credit to, to Bradford. That's their sort of plan. They looked the same last season. They only lost four times on the road last year, so they're effective at what they do. Yeah, but we but we should know what's coming, and, and we need to be better than that. But that listen, like I said, we've had an off day. What, there's nothing else. You can't analyse it. We can watch the game back, um, but from. From two to eleven today, because I thought Martin was excellent. But apart from you know from, from that, we you know nobody can you know as we've just asked them then you know what were your thoughts and you know and not one of them can sort of come away and go yeah I did okay today because we just they just won't have it and for whatever reason and you ask them and they, they can't put their finger on it either and you know like I said tactically sometimes and technically it all goes out the window when when things don't go well and unfortunately sometimes you can get away with one or two not partic playing particularly well but today unfortunately we had we had more than that that just well, we couldn't get going so like I said it's not through you know they're not they're not tired they're fresh they look great on Thursday they were sharp they were bright but like I said we just couldn't couldn't get any sort of momentum going uh, from the commentary position, we thought Jordan Lamb gave a debut to him today. I thought he looked bright and positive whenever he got the ball. Yeah, he did okay, and we, we, we threw him in because we thought you know he might give us a bit of a lift and give us a little bit of more cutting edge in the final third. And like I said, in 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 spells in the first half, especially we had a couple flash across the goal that he that he had that he engineered. But again, we we lacked that cutting edge in in the final third, and you know we need we want bodies in the box and. Sometimes, like today, it's gone behind everybody or in front of yeah. everybody, and you know. Whereas you, some another day, it rolls straight to someone's foot and they tap it in. But today, wasn't to be. But yeah, he did. Like I said, he was steady away for his first game, and as he gets fitter, and he'll, hopefully he'll get better. Um, what's the latest on Keon Rafael? Because it seems hopefully it's not a recurrence of the same injury. But you'll tell us more. Yeah, I think I think it, I think it is. I think it is by the sounds of it a recurrence of. Of, uh, of the old injury so again we'll wait 24 hours to see how it settles down Will there be any movement outside on the transfer market to try and bolster things? Uh, not bolster it like I said we're, we're okay we've got good bodies we got uh, enough we obviously had a decent bench today um, and then we had obviously two or three sat in the stand that still were fit but not selected um, so as always we're always looking to improve and be better but you know, we're not gonna we're not gonna panic about it. We're six games into a 42 game season, and for the first time in six games, we haven't played particularly well. So we just work hard again. And unfortunately, like I said to the boys, then obviously it'd be great to have another game on Monday to bounce back and have another go. But we haven't. We've got to wait a full week. So that's disappointing. But like I said, we've had a bad day at the office. Things didn't go well for us. You know, <laughs> either end of the pitch today, and uh, we've got to suck it up and just get on with it now and, and get back to the training ground Tuesday, Thursday, and ready for Saturday. How much do you see the division now that you've had the six games? How much of a pointer to it do you, do you think you already have? Because you've tended to play sides at the top of the table rather than the bottom. Yeah, I mean, I think I think a lot of people would have looked at it and wouldn't have expected ourselves possibly and Leamington and Bradford and Boston and Telford to be to be in that top sort of ten because obviously last year they were teams that, that didn't have go so well and, and obviously ourselves a new team to the league so so maybe they didn't but um, but like I said I mean the disappointment for me is I think that we saw we saw the best team in the league last year the last week uh, when they obviously they've won five out of five um, and we were a million miles away from them and, and I still thought we were we had more to come but like I said today unfortunately we just had one of them days and nothing happened for us and we didn't have any luck we didn't have, we didn't click with anything we obviously picked up a couple of injuries with Keon and Danny um, so, like I said, so it's just been a, a, a not a very good bank holiday Saturday. Thanks for your time.